Some people just some people just never learn. The greatest troll of them all, Tasha K, is back at it again. We remember her going through her wars with Cardi B when she lost her judgment, and she ultimately had to uh, give up four million dollars, and she filed for bankruptcy. But now she has somebody else in her sights and on her radar, and it's Beyonce. Beyonce had a performance where she had her daughter Blue Ivy on the stage, and Tasha K made some comments, and. Uh, Beyonce's mother Tina Knowles took umbrage with that. She didn't like it. And she came after Tasha K. And Tasha K has responded. Let's listen to what Tasha K had to say about the Knowles family. And then we'll come right back. Give me my mic. Now I know we got a lot of high members. I am a Beyonce fan. But just because I'm a fan doesn't mean I can't critique you. Whatever happened to the customer is always right. If I spend my money with you, I don't, I don't care if you gave me a free card to come get a chicken biscuit at Chick-fil-A, I'm still a customer. I am in your establishment, I am eating your food, and I have the power to leave a Google review to let you know if that biscuit was soggy, if it was salty, if the chicken wasn't done, I have the right to speak my mind. And when you are charging that much money, and I'm a fan, and I voice a concern, I have a problem with that because why am I getting told off death threats? Because I'm leaving a Yelp review and a Google review on how you conducting your business. I just left three stars on Google. And when I leave three stars on Google, Instead of you saying, ma'am, I understand. Why is you sending your mammy over down to my house to attempt to gather me? Put her on the... Why are you sending this witch to my door? Yes, she Creole. Yes, she probably a witch. But my mother-in-law from Africa, don't play. She in Mecca right now. Just sent me videos from Mecca on her pilgrimage. And God is a lot stronger than that darkness y'all got going on down there. But whatever happened to the customer is always right. Now, I know she pulling up to defend her grandbaby. As she should. As she should. But I didn't say anything bad about her grandbaby. I said Blue Ivy is beautiful. She has her life set up, but I feel that in this society that we live in, y'all giving awards to everybody. But I feel like just because, you know, her mom is who she is and her grandma is who she is and her dad is who she is, they're just giving her an award. And when I voice the concern as a patron, because I am a fan, you want to pull up like you're going to check me. Who going to check me, boo? Who going to check me? You in my house. I left a Google review. Fix it or we ain't got nothing else to talk about. Now when Miss Tina Knowles did this here, I said, what what, what I do, Miss Tina? Miss Tina follow me. I said, what I do, Miss Tina? Literally she pulled up. I don't know if it was the energy because she knew that I was coming to say something. Because I saw the video of her saying when people try to break my soul or diss me or when there's haters why do we always got to be haters why we can't just be like yo fix this why does it always have to be hating we can't complain you're in the business of service beyonce's in the she's on business i'm not judging beyonce knows carter i'm judging beyonce the brand and blue ivy the trademark but you're not a trademark miss knows I, I was prepared to drag you more because I felt like whatever happened to the customer is always right. And instead, you want to pull up and call me a hater. Or maybe you here because you enjoy the wine, Miss Knowles. But I'm trying to figure out, because I went scrolling through you. Because I was like, you, Miss Knowles, you are lucky. You lucky I wasn't around when Matthew Knowles was outside, outside. Wait, this man was outside with dark skinned chicks like me and gave Beyonce her first dark skinned sister that she don't claim? Child, you are lucky that I wasn't around. I missed that train. And like I said, you gonna go and ball chicken bones 
my mother-in-law is in Mecca right now doing the program. And I will have her drop your name on a stone. But I'm just trying to figure out, like, who's going to check me? Because I'm trying to figure out, like, the way Matthew dogged you out. I had questions because I don't understand how a man like that, y'all don't ever claim him. He's never on the tours anymore. If he got to buy his own tickets to come. Y'all mad that the man said the only reason Beyonce is famous is because she likes skin. But he prefers the black community. He's not going to disown his black babies that look like me. You wearing all that black, Miss Knowles. But Mr. Matthew didn't think it was black enough. in that paper bache makeup you got going on. Y'all remember paper mache, flour, water, newspapers. You put it up, you can build a face, put some red lipstick on it, put a wig on it. That's Miss Nose. Y'all think nobody can drag them because they're the royal your family. That dress is not giving royalty. It's because I'm trying to figure out how you got a nice chocolate, handsome husband. And when people Google you, the first name that comes up is Tina Nose. Yeah, she got lost up there in the back, but when you come to the page, you don't see that. Hey, is your name still Tina Knowles? Don't, 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 don't try to tell me it's a household name. Not the way Matthew ran it down there to the projects with them dark skin alleged prostitutes that he impregnated and you hear the babies from the public. The same way Beyonce is hiding Jay-Z's alleged baby. Don't play with me. I say, go look just like you. She moving just like you. And we still trying to figure out who that little girl was that was sitting beside Blue that looked like she was older than Blue with Jay-Z on the beach and they would eat ice cream. Who is that little girl? Did you teach her to hide side baby? Allegedly. Who is she? Now, all I'm gonna say, Miss Nose, is I respect you, because I respect my elders. But what you're not gonna do is try to argue with a customer. Now, ain't nobody said nothing about that little girl. She is a beautiful little girl. Her life is set up. She's very privileged, but we're not gonna like and enjoy everything. I know y'all do, because she is an heir to a billion, not a billion dollar empire. It's all over her. And she's shitting on us. We know that her shit is made of diamonds. But we don't have to agree with everything. Same reason your ex-husband didn't agree with everything you did. Listen, like I said, I respect you. And I respect my elders. I hope that you pulled up as a wino. Stop throwing shade at me. Stop trying to argue with the customers. Because customers will always give you this smoke. And with that being said, now I gotta go. And next time you better send your daughter. Now, I don't know what Tasha K's angle is here. She's always working the angle, but with the situation that happened with Cardi B and all the money that she had to give up and file for bankruptcy, if she thinks that Cardi B's fans are crazy, wait till she see the beehives and coming after, coming after uh, uh, Blue Ivy. Now she's saying that she has a right to critique them and she's well within her right, but they also well within their right to respond. So now she's in a situation where Tina is responding. She, and she has some choice words for Tina. She talked about, she said, she told Tina, you lucky that I wasn't doing this at the time when basically her husband, Beyonce's father was out there uh, making babies. And she was saying that uh, 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 Beyonce got a sister that she don't recognize, a dark skinned sister that she don't acknowledge. She was just going to town on a, on the Nose family, and she was just saying like you know she didn't she didn't disrespect Blue Ivy. She just had an opinion, but Tasha K is just like I I just think that I think that she's at her wit's end where at some point she's not going to be online no more. At some point they they're going to pull the plug on Tasha K, but it's always interesting. It's always funny, and you know just going after Cardi B is one thing. But Cardi B is, is a star, but the uh, the Beehive and Beyonce is a megastar. And you're right, she does have a right to have an opinion. But she was saying that Tina came to her house, knocked on the door. And she telling Tina, next time send her daughter, you don't come. 
So she was going in on, on, on the mom. This is... It's just a lot. Like this internet clout chasing thing is at an all time high, and I just I just think that if Tasha K is pulling this out, pulling this rabbit out the hat, she she's working the angle. She's doing something because I don't think she would be this stupid to go after the Beehive like this at, right after the situation with Cardi B. But knowing but knowing uh, 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 Tasha K, who knows? Tasha K ass is crazy. But you guys, uh, what, let me know what you guys think about what she had to say. Um, you know about about uh the nose family leave your comments in the comment section make sure y'all hit that like button make sure y'all um subscribe to street media tv remember i love y'all till the next time peace